Hello good people of YouTube, All About That is back with another video and today we are going to look at the new collaboration that is coming out this Thursday week 10 of Supreme. First of all I just want to say excuse the attire I am on my way to work um, in little over the just about half an hour I'm on my way to work so excuse the attire it's not my usual um i am doing i've kind of got a new shift pattern so it's kind of good because i can get these out to you slightly sooner maybe these videos but regardless i will always try my best to get previews out to you as soon as possible now if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button turn your little notification bell on and also drop a like please 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 comment down below what do you think of this collaboration i'm going to say to you that it's 50 50 for me very much 50 50 but we will get into it in just a second this week also i do have a supreme unboxing but i will do that probably tomorrow um yeah i've literally not got that much time now before we go to work so without further ado let's get into it okay so this collaboration was leaked is it two years ago now or two seasons ago something like that there was a lot of stickers that came out um and it was rumored that they'd not they weren't going ahead with the collaboration or something like that so i do apologize if i do butcher the name of this guy okay Artist collaborations, I will say, are brilliant. I look at being an artist myself and trained in art and loved art since day dot. I love it when Supreme do artist collaborations. It's fantastic. So I'm interested to really have a good look at this. I suspect there are going to be elements that I don't like, but yeah, we shall see. Anyway, okay. Uh, Sekitani Lanori Hiro is a Japanese artist who was born in Osaka in 1979, the year after me. His hyper colourful collages often feature distorted elements of the human body. Mm. Sekitani's work is grotesque yet psychedelic. Mm, yes, I do get that impression. Um, I use pictures of bowels, <laughs> lovely, um, because they have such beautiful colours. Mmm, I love a good bowel. <laughs> um, he says, my artwork doesn't mean anything more than how it looks. I like it. This unique perspective has earned Sakitani's fans across the world, particularly in Europe, where the artist has been exhibiting underground works for nearly 20 years so we've got i won't go into the rest because it's what supreme are telling you we have got which we're going to see anyway so let's get on to the first pieces now we have a coach's jacket hmm So it is exactly what it says on the tin grotesque but i do love the colors the colors are beautiful would i wear it would i heck no there are boobs on there there's bowels on there there's skulls on there there's somebody who looks like he's sucking part of a bowel no i will not be wearing this or buying it i will leave that to people who love bowels so on to the next piece um now we do have skate pants that have the similar feel to it all over print lots of nice colors the one thing i do love about his work is his typeface so his um the japanese writing in really bold bright colors i love that now if he'd if some of this stuff was zoomed in on and you had like a different composition where you couldn't really tell it was loads of boobs or bowels i'd probably like it i probably would yes so <laughs> those are the skate pants i will be passing 
Um, so we've got a work shirt, and on the back of the work shirt is a woman with her, or a man, or somebody with what looks to be a angle grinder grinding on somebody's boob. That's, yeah, we'll move on from that. That ain't going to be something I'm going to wear. No, now, never. Never, never more. Yeah, that comes in five colourways. White, camo, orange, navy and black. Those shirts I really like. I do like the shirts that they use and it's got the old English font on. But that image is just Ming, man. It's just Ming. Nah. Okay. The next one is a long sleeve top. This is probably the least yucky. Although you've still got a massive pair of boobs on your right arm. Mm. But the image itself isn't too bad. It's just really weird. Um, long sleeve top, old English font. No, thank you very much. The next one is... Um, an all over sort of print, a short sleeve top, um, boobs and bowels and shit all over it. And if you fancy a bit of that, go for the short sleeve top. And the next one is long sleeve t-shirt. I like the back of it. Do you think we could do something with the back? I love that. I love the fun. I love the typeface on the back. If we could just get rid of that front print and maybe have something slightly abstract there, perfect. The back of that t-shirt is lovely. So it comes in white, baby pink, kind of orangey red, neon, yellow, purple and black. It's got the same kind of thing on the front. You've got boobs and bowels and chests and crazy skulls and just yeah beautiful baby beautiful okay in the next one the boobies tea that's what it's called <laughs> Woo give me some boobies jesus right am i gonna get demonetized for this possibly um right like, we won't do any close-ups so, um, the black tea, green tea, pink tea, slate tea, grey tea, orange tea, and white tea, boobies tea. Needless to say, the front is brilliant. I love the front. The back is hideous. Mm, it's a shame, because that, that type, I love it. The colours are beautiful. love the colours. Ah, now there's one that could be passable, and that is this one. So you've got the really nice font on the back, you've got the crazy kids on the front. Um, are there any boobs in there? Probably. Slightly. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be going for any of this, to be honest. The... Um, You've got the same colourways of the t-shirt, you've got the, the square um, image on the front and you've got the really nice typeface on the back. It's probably the least minging, in all honesty, but it's still really weird. Um, now, this, these notoriously are extremely collectible, the skateboards. Any artist collaboration is generally extremely collectible. Um, and if you collect your decks, then you're probably going to want these. I really like the left one with the typeface. It's just that bottom bit. Boobies and bits. Mm. It's just that bottom bit. I'm not keen on the other one. That's just scary. But, uh, in fact... It the face looks like, oh my god, we won't even go into that. So yeah, it's, it's, the colours 
are brilliant. The type is brilliant. I love that Japanese writing. It's really, really nice. It reminds me of the neon signs you get in like Tokyo or whatever. Just the images themselves are really not my cup of tea. <laughs> but artist collaboration decks are extremely collectible and if you are a collector you want you want these you're gonna need those um i do like the decks obviously i do have a few myself and i've had a few over the years but i think i will be passing on this um but let me know down in the comments will you be passing on this what do you think of it <laughs> Um, it is a bonkers, bonkers collaboration. The work, I, li I love your statement. It means nothing apart from what it is. That's just great. I love that. No sort of pretentious statement to go with his art. That I like. But the images are just a bit too much for me, in all honesty. Um, we still haven't got the drop list as yet. Um, but I'm going to get this out to you today hopefully later on tonight um and then if i get time i might do a preview video for the lookbook items if not you will get an unboxing later in maybe tomorrow or the day after but lots of good things this week lots of good things coming up i am definitely going to crep city in manchester on saturday um i do have a ticket for it now and it should be good it's it's kind of like a sneaker con in case you didn't know um they do have one in london they do have one in manchester i'm not entirely sure if they have them anywhere else in the uk um but it is a like a, it's like a sneaker con but a slightly smaller scale so if any of you guys are going let me know in the comments and hopefully i'll be able to meet a few of you chat to a few of you and yeah should be a really good day thank you once again and all about that We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.